All right, guys, I'm so pumped to finally show you and tell you what it is that I bought because I just bought the truck of my dreams. That's right. It's been 16 years since I've owned a truck. It's been a long time coming, but I'm back in the truck game. Let me tell you why. Let me show you what it is. I was contemplating between... Uh, I'll, give, I'll give you a little sneak peek here. All right, we'll, 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 I'll, I'll stand right here. All right, put my sunglasses on. So I was contemplating between a gas engine, which is the... 7.3 liter Godzilla or the diesel, the turbo diesel, the 6.7 turbo diesel engine. So let's do this. Let me get in it. Let me start it. And then you'll know which one I got based on the engine. All right, let's hop in and start it. Oh, she's so pretty. All right, guys, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Here we go. All right, I don't know if you could tell or not from that, but I got the 6.7 liter turbo diesel, my first diesel truck, and man, am I pumped about it. Let me show you some of the features that this sweet, awesome Ford F-250 Lariat Edition has. It's a 2019 model, I will say that, but it only has 5,000 miles, so it's pretty much brand spanking new. All right, guys, so as I mentioned, it's a 2019, and I purposely got a 2019 because I liked the six-speed versus the 10-speed with the diesel. Now, that was just a personal preference, so I went with the 2019, but again, I found one that has 5,000 miles, so it is almost brand new. There's not a nick or anything, even on the exterior. It is super, super clean, and it came with this awesome bed liner. So right now, it is snapped into position, so if I wanted to use the bed, you can see that it's open. There's an awesome bed liner, multiple tie downs in there. I'll show you this bed cover in just a second because it's really pretty cool how it operates. But I will show you right here though, we've got a really cool step system. Let me turn the camera on. I'm not very good doing it that way. So because this truck sits so high, I mean, I am 5'11 and this tailgate is above my waist. So with that, if you want to use it, there's an awesome step ladder that comes out and a handbar right here that Ford's kind of known for, but you basically just push this, goes down, push down here, like so, and it folds back, slides in, then this part slides up and in, locks. There's a button there to pull it out later, and nice lift on the tailgate. It's also got your backup camera right here, your um, tailgate release here and a nice little light just accessory light now i will say what's really cool is there is kind of a tailgate assist so you'll see lowers kind of neat feature and inside the tailgate there's also an auxiliary light that lights up both here and on this side you can tell that light is on which is nice for when you're needing to use it at night to see okay kind of another auxiliary outlet here we do have our fifth wheel capabilities already built in don't know if we'll be using this truck for fifth wheel but it does have that feature make sure i turn my light off here turn off those lights will slowly dim and fade now the reason why i got this truck though was to tow and pull a travel trailer that we'll be getting soon so stay tuned on the channel for that uh, but i will tell you this is pretty sweet this is the fx4 off-road package by ford and that 6.7 liter power stroke diesel and these back seats are just enormous i mean just enormous pretty cool we got all three of my children can fit back here we've got a nice little armrest pops out with cup holders nice little situation there for the kids that are back here and power for them for days we've got your traditional cigarette lighter we've got a plug and several usbs here so they've got all the power they need 
got some air vents back here cup holders as well so there and there four cup holders in the back seat both driver and passenger side are power seats and it's kind of the little things yes i already have an owner flashy swimmer but it's kind of little things you got two cup holders here but this slides over to make four all right it may not seem like that big a deal but it is also a ginormous middle console yes I already have some bait and tackle in there for tomorrow's fishing adventure got a console here and a console there lots and lots of storage in this awesome truck all right now i told you i'd show you this bed liner let me unroll it and i'll show you who manufactures this but it clamps down right here when you're not using it so i'll just unleash that clamp that just falls back in the bed let me go to the other side and we'll unroll it all right we got the clamp off that side we'll drop that in the bed and this literally just rolls back out now it is metal so it's a hard cover it's also sealed and waterproof right here on the edges but you'll see as i roll it out i'm just doing this one-handed as i'm holding the camera with my other hand and let me open the tailgate and you'll see that this comes down and pops and latches into place i'll do the other side pop slashes in a place smooth down the sides waterproof there waterproof down this side even an overlap and waterproof across the back it has been raining for the past several days in dallas and there has not been a drop of water that has gotten in the bed so pretty awesome because it's a hard cover again but also a very easily removable cover as well i absolutely love it if you are curious about the tow hitch it does require a five and a quarter inch drop is what's needed in my opinion to not have to jack the boat all the way up i will be pulling a boat with this i will get a trailer stabilizer to go on the back for the travel trailer this is not the ideal pin situation right now but that's what i got because that was the only pin that i had that fit this bigger receiver so this is the two and a quarter receiver i did have to get a sleeve to adapt to my two inch hitch, which I will eventually get a bigger hitch to go in here. But that's what I had to do with for now because I am going fishing tomorrow. All right, so why did I choose the diesel engine over the gas engine? Well, the Godzilla engine is 7.3 liter. It's a massive, massive engine. However, the gas mileage is not so great. It gets about 10 miles a gallon when you're towing even less. And quite honestly, I just thought the diesel in the long run would hold up more so than a gas engine would so that was just my personal preference that's what i chose to get it's my first diesel truck so i hope i don't screw it up i'm sure i'm sure i'll I'm sure i'll have some trial and error but let me know below if there's any comments or tips or anything that you have about diesel trucks let's show you the rest of the vehicle all right guys i'll do the outro right here in the car because I'm just in love with this thing. I absolutely love this truck. I've always wanted a bigger heavy duty, or in this particular case, a super duty truck. I've always either had like a Ford F-150 or even a smaller truck when I was back in high school. It has been probably since almost college or my early adulthood since I've had a truck, literally probably since my early 20s. It's taken me now till I'm 40 to get the truck I want. Now I will say for those who are still watching this video, the whole reason why I got the truck is because first, my wife said she wanted a camper and we cannot pull it with her Tahoe. So, I mean, what's he got to do? Like I had to get a bigger truck in this bigger case, the Super Duty, to pull it. Got a great deal. I love it. It is super awesome. Hit me up below if you got any comments at all. I would highly recommend this truck so far. I've been super impressed with it. I will let you guys know how it goes. If I have any issues with it along the way, you will see it in all my fishing videos and coming up in a lot of camping and fishing videos to come because we'll either pull the boat or we'll pull the boat with the Tahoe and pull the camper with this or we'll pull the camper and then throw the twin troller in the bed of the truck and take it with us. So we got a lot of awesome ventures to come. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we got a lot of cool stuff coming. Hey, and if nobody's told you today, God loves you and so do I. Peace out.